Today, guys, we have Mike in the studio who's here to come do a painting competition with me. Um, so yeah, just make sure you make sure you let me know who you think did a better better painting, who you think who you think conveyed the image. Stumbling <laughs> image already, more. stumbling already, mate. You already um, know his one. Make sure you like, <laughs> make sure you like and comment. Um, or what you think could be better. Also, let me know what you think I should do next. Uh, I might be traveling to Nigeria, Pakistan over the next. I will be traveling to Nigeria and Pakistan over the next few weeks to see a few people and meet a few other interesting people. Um, so yeah. You go to gun or for? Uh, not really, you know. Well, I swear. No, nah, last time it was like ten years ago. Ooh. I should have gone oh. December time. But yeah. Obviously, it was a bit of a. I was gonna say. A bit of a tricky say. period. I was gonna say. Yeah. Usually in Africa, I think December is the best time to go because over in Nigeria they go, they've got the same thing. I think in Ghana it's called like homecoming. Yeah, last right? year yeah. last year was the the year of the return or something. Something like, like that. You plan on going this year? Or are you just gonna see this, how it goes? This year, I'll see how it goes. But I, okay. I believe I might be doing something with with them this year in Portugal. Okay. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's that's a exclusive. Okay, we thank God. Oh, <laughs> we thank God. So yeah, fresh home from the island. Fresh home, baby. That's like <laughs> South Africa, right? Yeah. How, wait, how many hours flight is it to get over there? So I I went to Berlin first. Okay. Yeah, that was a bit messed up. I went to Berlin, that was like two hours. And then from there, it was an 11 hour flight to Cape Town. Oh, okay. No, to, yeah, to Cape Town, yeah. Was that where the villa was or do you have to drive somewhere else? So that was to somewhere else, a holding villa. And uh -huh. then I was there for like 10 days and then we went into the main villa. Wait, why they hold you for 10 days before? So okay. it was just like, so before we actually go in, it was just like a period where we were just basically not doing anything. We were just chilling, eating, sleeping. Were you allowed to talk to the other people there? Nah. Were so you allowed we, to meet we them? We were all you? isolated. So there was, like this, there was like this group chat that all of our chaperones had. Mm -hmm. And all we kind of knew was their initials. So it had like CD yeah. or like LM. And we were all just like having to maneuver without trying to bump into anyone. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. And I know I have you painting. Yeah, I know. But I'm gonna try my best with this one. Yeah, I mean I think I think I'm kind of an artist myself. Um we're gonna show you on the screen what we're trying to paint right now. But um yeah. and at the end you should tell us which you think is better or who you think was more yeah. accurate in there. Primary school days, my teacher yeah. told me I was talented, so you know, this this might be I think I was like the least talented um child in primary school. <laughs> I'm not a very extracurricular person, I just have one or two other interests. Like what? Um, are you interviewing me? I'm interviewing you. Um, <laughs> I do music and yeah, it's film stuff usually. How about you? Other than like TV, do you plan, in, do you plan on doing any other yeah, um, extra bits? See, I, I used to play football. Uh -huh. So I've, I've thought about it. A couple a couple teams have got in touch. Okay. Like, but. If I'm honest, I'm I'm assuming it's more so just on the commercial side because mm. obviously they know if I'm coming through, they're gonna sell tickets, yeah. <laughs> so, which I don't mind. But you know, it's it's, it's something to do, and I, I'm passionate about football as well. I think Arsenal have made me a bit less passionate over the years, mm. but you support them. Yeah. Sorry about that, bro. <laughs> it seems like you have a tragedy, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, it could be better, but yeah, it is what it is. Arsenal, heartbreak. Wait, I, th I think I'm messing up this painting, Loki. I totally can see the. the I don't know about your there. man's actually going alright. I'm starting. You're going straight onto the thing. I'm starting. Yeah, with the, the reason the why is just because I just saw that's the biggest thing that pops out. Right? Oh, just with that thing. Um. So since we left, um, to be honest, I don't really have much time to do anything apart from like meetings and interviews and you know just mm. business and stuff like that because there's that period where we kind of need to work out things and make sure we're all on the same page and stuff yeah so moving forward because obviously i'm not a police officer anymore so now yeah. i need to try and work out another career for myself and hopefully that will be in television okay so so you think that you think that like the opportunities that come after Long Island, they are like bountiful and stuff. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because like some of the people who have reached out, I never would have thought I'd even be speaking to, let alone yeah. in the same room with having serious conversations about stuff. Mm. So in in that sense, I do feel blessed. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I guess it's an opportunity that um, a lot of people try and try and fail to do. Like, you have to be in shape, good looking, and all that. Like, I mean, <laughs> I, mean, I think I'm a bit far off of that because I don't really go gym. No, the gym one's mad because uh, luckily my boy Josh is here as well. Can you get? You can attest to this, yeah? Because before Love Island, I wasn't really in the best shape. Yeah, really? So it was literally because of him. He gave me like a little um, a program to do like two months before. Nobody believes me as well, but I was out of shape. You have to keep like maintaining when you're on the island or... Yeah, but the problem is the gym in the island is small. So I remember when um, Ched came in, obviously Ched... <laughs> Ched, <laughs> yeah. Ched, Ched is massive, isn't it? So Ched's like, ah, oh, let's go gym. I'm like, all right, cool, bro. So I see him picking up the 30s, he's warming up. I'm just looking at him like, all right, cool. Warming up, he's like, oh, all right, cool. Let's get started. I was like, bro. Those are the biggest weights. <laughs> Those are the biggest weights we got. I fought for him. He struggled. So you get to a lot of interaction with other like contestants on the show off camera. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Like we, to be honest, every everyone this year was gen. Well, most people were genuinely cool people. Yeah. Yeah. So like, it, it was it was a vibe. It was a vibe. Do they let you know beforehand? Um, What's going to be on the show and what's going to be edited out? Or... Nah, 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 they don't, we don't know nothing. So literally, we're just in there, eat, sleep, waffling. We don't know what's going to be shown, so it's, it's all a bit mad. So do you have any contact with like the outside world? or, or No contact with the outside world. We have our mobile phones, which had like three apps. So it had Island Chat, it uh-huh. had Picture Gallery. Yeah, camera and gallery, and that's it. No time on it, no date, no nothing. The time seemed to like speed up or slow down while you're in there because it seemed like there was a lot to do. Yeah, no, nah, it, it, it was weird because like during the days it seemed very slow. Uh huh. Like especially days that we're not really doing too much, like when we're just literally just talking. Mm. But then as the weeks went on, it kind of seemed like it was going quickly. So it'd be like, wow, we're three weeks in already. Like, whoa, it's almost done. Yeah. And then, and then we're here. So it was a bit weird. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be worth some money. I can see this. I this is detail. When you man see it, it's actually all right. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> We're going to be the new what? The castle. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned earlier that um, that, you, you, that you've been in contact with a lot of interesting people since the show ended and yeah. been um, exposed to a lot of opportunities. Mm. Can you name drop any people that have gone in contact with Yeah, you, you know what? Lucky enough as well, Priscilla was quite well connected before okay. we even went into the villa. So I had, a, I had an opportunity to go to King Promise concert he came to he came Ooh. to uk yeah. and i met michael Daffa there um the mm-hmm. couple of days before i met chip chip um chipmunk um crepton conan yeah you know um, and just like people who i don't really expect to chill with but yeah. they're just about and that was that was pretty cool yeah i'm from nigeria so like chipmunk was actually the first uk artist that i proper heard of oh serious yeah from back home yeah, he does his thing. Yeah. I, I, I was a chip fan anyway, so I'm not gonna lie. Like I was gassed. I said to a brother, "Yo, chip, let me get pictures." Though. <laughs> so then, that it's, it's mad. But then, these are the the kind of environments that I'm gonna be in now. So yeah, do you think it takes like getting used to, or do you think it's um... yeah, hundred percent? Because I never in a million years thought that Auntie Maggie would come and shout me on the street and ask me to take a picture with her daughter. But yeah. that, that's what happens now. So I'm just trying to enjoy it. Have you always like had your eyes on like television, like Love Island, for example, or was it just a split second thing? You just said, let me just try and see what I, happens. I knew I wanted to get into television, but maybe not so much reality. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to do acting, um, you know, try and get into Netflix, but because of my occupation, obviously, I was a police officer. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a bit hard for me to kind of manage that. So uh, in the end, I just bought reality TV. Yeah. If the opportunity comes up, why not? I mean, my brothers have been pushing me to do it as well, so. Mm-hmm. Was the process long to get on the show? Uh, like to be selected, for example, as a, can- as a candidate? Normally, I think it is quite a bit of a long process, but I was blessed in a sense that I, I'd done my initial interview mm-hmm. and the same, the very same day, I kind of finished the whole process. <laughs> in, in one day, I was just lucky because I had my initial interview and the, produ- the executive producers were in the building at the time. Yeah. So as soon as I had done that, they then asked me to come into the next room to meet the execs. And yeah. they, they were like, yeah, we kind of like you, we'll see yeah. where it goes. And from there, it just, it just all happened. Yeah, usually in television, they take a bit um, longer than that. So I yeah. think they must have just left you from the start. I'm parched. Oh. Sorry, I see some more colors. That's good. Need that light view. 
There's no white, so how do I make light blue without white? Um, yeah, could just maybe add it to the water. I'm not a painter myself, but oh, oh, <laughs> another person actually that I um I heard a lot about in Nigeria was Sean Paul. <laughs> Uncle Sean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now nah, he came to the villa. He he um. Yeah, he definitely turned up. He turned up the villa that night. We, we enjoyed it because obviously we don't get music out there as well. Okay. So you can't listen to music at all. So when Sean Paul came in, it was like it was a nice little break. Obviously, he he had questions himself. I didn't even know he was watching the show like that, but he he just came in. And he was like, ah, so your man are locked up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, like a prison. Basically. Yeah, pr pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. So did he get to hang out with you guys a lot before and after or was it just like a brief or oh, hi bye? Nah, so he was probably there for like an hour max. And then um, he obviously asked a few questions as well. I think he was, I'm not gonna lie, I think he was eyeballing a couple of the girl then still. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just went. Mm. Yeah, but it was it was a nice experience to have him about. Aha, yeah, more blue in there. Yeah, look at you there. <laughs> Look at the difference in 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 standard. You will see. The, you I'm will taking see my the time with this, but well, I'm trying anyway. I'm not a painter, but I'm trying. Everyone, will see, everyone will see the difference after, and I think I'm gonna get more votes than you. <laughs> okay. Wait. Um. Do you know what's crazy? I haven't looked at the picture since we started. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Uh, Even doing like watercolors as well. I'm putting too much effort in this. Make sure you guys tell me who you think is gonna have a better painting before. Do you still keep in contact with a lot of the other islanders? Uh, yeah, not really. Um, but to be fair, we do see each other quite a lot because a lot of the interviews that we do, we do together. Mm. Like yesterday, we had a capital extra. Um, we've had a like a couple reunions since as well. Mm -hmm. And then you know, people send text messages and stuff, just checking up on everyone, yeah. see how everyone's getting on. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I feel happy with that. Like um. The thing about it is that with shows like that, usually what you see after is that people start to drift apart. But it seems from like last season, I can I can still see some friendships that last till today. Yeah, which is um is good. And to be fair, like I said before, everyone in the villa this year was actually genuinely safe. Yeah. So it's a case of like it doesn't surprise me that we all kind of stay in touch. Everyone everyone was cool. Yeah. You know Bob Ross? Nah, he's that. The guy who like he had a show in the nineties where he used to just paint for like therapy and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Do you, do you find it jarring like the constant um the constant me the constant media focus on you? Like not at all. Really? I love it. I, I love it because before nobody cared about me. <laughs> so, yeah. So now that I'm getting the attention, I can't lie, I'm enjoying it. Mm. It's fun, it's fun. Especially when I read some of the negatives that people write about me. It's always these these weird countries as well, like Estonia. Or something. I've never even heard of your place before, but you're sending for man. Chill, chill. <laughs> like somebody's like, oh, um, oh, well, in fact, let me even open up. We're putting up the receipts let me, right let me, now. Let me get the receipts. I guarantee you there's some negative, there's always negative. I do see you getting a lot of love as well. Yeah, now nah, the love is real, especially in London. I appreciate that. Because you seem like one of the more genuine, genuine people on there. Oh, that's a bit techy. There's something going on right now. But... Yeah, not that. Yeah, no, no, no. Now that's a bit of a sitch that's going on yeah, right yeah. now, but hold on, let me. People are chatting shit. No, no. And then obviously for every, it's like for every one negative comment that I get, there's like about 10 nice ones. Yeah. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you guys become millionaires. Amen. Oh, Amen. thank God. You thank God. I'm trying to find a real sick one because people are like, oh, wish you hope you break your leg. Some weird shit like that. I think sometimes it gets to people when they see like a lot of hate because they focus on, they focus on that so yeah it doesn't seem like that with you nah um, but um there's my support network is sick obviously yeah. i've got my brothers who are honestly i thank god for their lives because my brothers the way they've handled my social media the way they've just managed me since i've come out 
it's been it's been like it's been amazing. Yeah. And then obviously I've got my boys, I've got Josh right there. The the silent king, the killer. <laughs> and then just my boys. Like every everyone around me, my team is 30. Mm. And especially now mental health in, in television is a big thing. Yeah. Because everybody's trying to crack down on it, make sure that, you know, your well being is good, but my team is 30. But like it does get like um can I say physically mentally challenging like the constant interviews and all that like not just the reactions from people but like the more corporate side mm. of stuff I can imagine that gets uh, yeah gets yeah, yeah. Nerves of it, I guess. to be honest not not necessarily no because the way I see it is I always pray that you know and I, I'm a man of faith as well so I always pray that God will give me a platform to be able to speak my truth and obviously at the same time help people. Mm in any way that I can. And now that I've got that kind of platform where I can speak openly, because I'm not gonna lie, when you're a black man as well, there's barriers that you have to overcome. But yeah, true. for me, I just speak my mind, I speak my truth, and I hope that it helps somebody. Mm -hmm. Now that I've got that platform, you know, we, we can go. Kind of got that when I was starting um, this, this show, because um, I think a lot of people think it's, it's strange when you as a black man try, try to be more positive and more, and different from the usual stereotype. Sometimes mm. you get a lot of pushback. Yeah, it gets like that, but you know, we push, we move, and there's a lot of young black men that are doing well in society now, especially yeah. if you look at UK culture and you see the boys that are, that are doing well, like Stormzy, you got Dave, they're just doing their thing right now, so it's, it's good. Yeah. Like, I think the UK movement, like, it's always been there, it's always been legendary, but now it's coming to center stage. Like, um, you guys are more or less leading the pack now. Like it's come to the point where like going on Love Island for you has made you an international superstar. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure you're, you're popular in Nigeria, you're popular in Ghana, yeah, popular in Europe. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm good for that one. Also, so Nigerians know me, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, nice one. That's why you use the term international because you're not just center stage England, center stage Nigeria, center mm. stage Ghana, and you know from from there to wherever wherever else. There's a lot of black black actors going over there making a big name for themselves mm. in one way or the other. Um, we have John Boyega, shout out to him. Shout out to Daniel Kaluuya. I saw his, his, he's been really on the up and up over the past few years. I've seen him in a lot of few other stuff. Okay. You, oh, is that, is that the shit? <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? Is that the shit? Okay, so I'm here. <laughs> oh my! But when you might see this, yeah, you understand why I'm laughing. I, you've seen the picture, right? Yeah. Oh. This, so, so this this shit right here, it's tiny in it. <laughs> wow. Nah. If I don't win this competition, you're not biased. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> hey, there's no that's money. Yeah. That's a damn. Well, where's it? Where's the yellow? If you see any colors. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other like talents other than acting and stuff? Do you sing? Do you do music? Haha, uh -huh. yeah. I'm into music. I, I'm a little I'm a little singer myself. Okay. Yeah, I do I do like singing. I write music as well. But and it's something that I will get into eventually. But the problem for me right now is obviously when you come off Love Island, you start trying to get into all of that, there's a bit of a stigma. People are like, ah, oh, it's the guy from Love Island, he's just trying to do yeah. So I'll probably leave that in the back burner for now. But it's definitely something I want to get into. How do you make orange? Is that red and yellow? Yeah. Red and yellow. <laughs> what kind of genres are you into? Like, um, hip hip hop, Afro beats. I love, um, yeah, that just mainly them two, that general rap, grime, mm. that kind of stuff. Okay. And that's what you plan on making as well. Yes. Do you know what's crazy? We set a timer, but no one actually. I'm watching it. We've got five more minutes. Oh, five okay. more minutes, yeah. And then what was the what? How do you make purple again? Bro, you asked me the wrong person. Red and red and blue. Yeah, actually, there's a guy in the background that's helping Mike as we speak. 
But that, I'm doing it all alone. Bruv, I'm asking questions that you two can ask. Your your skill set is what's letting you down right now. <laughs> You're just not good. I'm gonna get better at this. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna do a rematch, hopefully against Mike, or <laughs> we could do something else. I don't know. That that that's. Are you sure this is red and blue makes purple? Oof, bugged out. Or is it just a thing? See, he's standing up, you know, having under pressure. He's laughing at Mike because he knows I'm better than him. Trust me on this. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know that makes no sense. Alright, so a bit of a light purple as well. That's not purple, but fuck it. Anything better than yours right now. It doesn't even matter. It actually does not matter what I do at this stage. Uh, I think Mike is a bit overconfident. Make sure you guys vote. Make sure you guys vote for me. I'm not meant to ask, ask for votes, but make sure you guys vote for me to prove him Look wrong. at your, 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 your begging for votes now. Look at this. Have I asked for votes once? <laughs> Have I asked for votes once? Well, you have asked questions. Uh, <laughs> You have asked questions, so I guess this is my way of, of doing that as well. Because you could ask for votes, I didn't tell you not to. I've been begging for votes, bro. Don't scramble. Just play the game. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, before we finish, what are your like kind of should I say intermediate plans? Do you have like steps that you wanna that you wanna that you have planned out right now? Like let's say for now you're gonna focus on uh, radio stuff, the TV stuff, then hopefully get a few acting gigs or are you just taking it as it comes? Yeah, so for now, <clears throat> I'm definitely going to focus more on television stuff. Mm -hmm. Possibly radio, it, it, um, not radio, sorry, presenting. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's just what opportunity presents itself. Yeah. And also, obviously, we've got Shark Nation, which is, right now, it's only a merchandise drop, to be fair, but the interest that we've got from it has been, has been mad. Okay. So I've also been considering taking that down a certain route. Okay, so you're also like, a, you see yourself as an entrepreneurial person? Yeah, definitely. I, I always, I'm always trying to think what, what can make the money stretch mm -hmm. and go along because, you know, when you're in this kind of opportunity, you have to make the most of it. I guess in places like Ghana as well, like you, you must find that um, people are interested in your image or do you, do you not see that as of yet? Um, yeah, no, I have, I have definitely noticed that the Ghanaian, Ghanaian community, especially in Ghana as well, they've definitely taken an interest to me. So, you know, I'd like to obviously explore that as well. Do you go back often, back to Ghana? No, I've not been back for like 10 years. Ooh. And before that, it was 10 years before that, so I've only been to Ghana twice. Yeah. You should have gone last year because I think every year, Ghana, in December, they have a lot of crazy events. Last year, yeah. the Apple Nation. And they had a few other concerts as well. And the weather is nice, so while it's winter here, you can just like. Can't just go there. Now all I need to do is add the boat and I'm done. The, where would the boat fit on that? Whatever, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. I, I, might, I, I, don't, even, I don't even need to add it <laughs> to win, but you know what I mean? It's, I've got to try. Okay. Oh. Oh, let me add the boat. Bang, 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 bang. Three. Two, Two, one. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh wait, Mike. Whoa. Oh, wait, a bit to the left. Yeah, perfect. Okay, right. All right, guys. It's a work of art. It's so bad. It's so it's, it's all right, right isn't it? It's all right. You, but I don't know. I don't know why you put you could win. <laughs> oh yeah guys, actually, the sunglasses did. Oh wait, what am I even doing? There's no vote. There's no hey, hey, can we not listen to Oh my god. <laughs> we need to vote on this, on who has on who has a better picture because for what? <laughs> <laughs> I for Honestly, think... there's there's no need voting that. Do you want to show Mike if there's a need to vote and let's see who I'm not even... you know what I said earlier, beauty is forget. I'm not even yeah, trying to be biased, but I, I, I told you I'm going to shave. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you for coming. No, thanks for having coming me. Now. Yeah, big up. Been bothering you all day, but um, <laughs> finally got him to come in the studio. Yeah, yeah. 
I enjoyed it, but I'm sorry I had to school you like that as well. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to school you because this is more abstract. I think. Hey, what is this doing? <laughs> still trying. You're still trying. I think that it's a, a very mature and artistic mind that can see what I tried to convey with this painting. The key word is thing. <laughs> It's all right, yeah, isn't it? I tried. I tried. Let's sit in the middle of the original. The original? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Right. My guy, that's not bad. Right. Bro, I tried. I don't know why. Right. Without the proper colours as well. You give me the proper utensils and I'm there. I'm not an artist. <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> Listen, I'm Ooh, not an artist. It's like there's a black hole. It's sucking everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's your man, then. <laughs> These hey. are your boys. Are your boys being your boys? <laughs> That's me trying to help because I'm trying to say what you're into. Because what else can you This is abstract. <laughs> hey, okay, do you know what, yeah? Go on Google right now and search up Jean Michel Bastia and you see where I got my inspiration from. Alright? Thank you. Thank you Thank for the interview. You're <laughs> welcome.